Hello, hope you are doing good. So in the last video you saw how to call an activity in the same app using an explicit intent. In this video you will see how you can call an activity in another app using an implicit intent. So the idea is that there can be a scenario where you want to call um, another app's functionality like suppose you want to send a message or an email so you you want to call like gmail functionality or you want to call like whatsapp functionality to send your message and you can do that using implicit intents so there are a few concepts which you need to know in order to do that and we are going to talk about basically learn about that in this video so implicit intent i already told you which is used to call an activity in another app then you have actions so actions are basically used to specify what kind of intent you want to you want to call so that basically what kind of activity you would like to handle this functionality so suppose i want to use messaging functionality so i can use an action like action underscore send i'll show you how you can do that and then you have intent filters now intent filters are used by the apps uh, to specify that they can handle a particular action so for example gmail or whatsapp will have an intent filter specified which tells android that okay i, I can handle this this user action okay so let's get started let's see how you can do it in code so we already have this intent here which we created in the in the last video so here as you can see we were calling a message activity class message activity so now if i want to use implicit intents i'll just comment this out okay and i'll copy this and what i need to do is simple use intent and whatever action i want to use like there are list of actions which you can perform we would like to use the the action which can help us send a message or an email so i'm using action send here now apart from this you can specify some other parameters like you can specify intent if you want to pass some extra information say what kind of message you want then you can specify that also okay so how you do it basically is like okay so you basically use intent dot extra text here okay and you pass whatever message you need like say hello okay and you also get to specify the the type of information which is useful for android so in our case uh, we want to use text or plain okay. since we are utilizing the message functionality so this is the type and then you have simple start activity now what happens is when i run this app then on click of button i'll see a list of options presented by android it can be whatsapp it can be any messenger that you have installed so we'll we'll basically test it out on a real device i'll show you in the next video how you can do that uh, for this video i wanted you to get an idea about implicit intents and how you can use them uh, you can refer to my blog for more details i'll provide a link in the video description um, so in the next video, we'll explore more. Okay, see you next time.